Hi, welcome to Talking Tech. I'm your host, Marcus Yam, and we are at CES 2023. I'm at Razer's booth, and we're here to check out what they have for the 13th gen Intel Core processors, codenamed Raptor Lake. Our big one for the show this year is HX series. I'm wearing HX, all right? So we're gonna talk about some of the latest HX laptops from Razer. Joining me today is Justin Chen from Razer. Thanks for joining me, and uh, just give us a quick intro. Thanks for coming by, Marcus. Uh, I'm Justin Chen, Product Marketing Manager for uh, the uh, Razer Blade 18, here to talk laptops at uh, CES 2023. All right, well, let's get right to it. Sure, uh, so right here we've got a uh, brand new form factor for us. This is uh, the brand new Razer Blade 16. Mini it's got a gorgeous mini LED display with dual modes. Uh, you can go, wait, did you say mini LED? Yeah, mini LED. Hey, I, I have that technology on, on, uh, on my tablet, I have it on my TV, but I've been waiting for it on a gaming laptop. Yeah, this is our first and we're very excited about it. It's got dual mode, so if you are a creator and you want to use the creator mode, it will bump up to a UHD at 120 hertz. But if you're gaming and you want the most amount of FPS, you got that 240 hertz at full HD. So you have two different modes that change the resolution, like at the, the native resolution? Yeah, the native resolution. So, you know, there's no strange upscaling or downscaling. So you could run in a native mode and you won't get any weird that and hey, if for whatever reason you don't want to use any AI upscaling, you want the true image, whether it's in UHD or Full HD, that's it, you get the true image? Yeah, absolutely. And, okay. and, and mini LEDs work in both modes? Yep, absolutely, okay. definitely. So what about the refresh rate? Oh, I see it right there. Yeah, so it's 120 on the UHD and 240 for that Full HD. Uh, and then, so we've got the latest NVIDIA 40 series GPUs in here, everything from a 4060 all the way up to a 4090. Um, so, Great graphics performance, uh, full TGP across every single configuration we've got. Uh, inside it, we have, of course, 13th gen Intel CPU. It's the i9-13950HX, uh, 55, 55 watt power boosting up to 110. Okay, well, that's, that's a lot of power in a package. I've noticed that uh, this is, but this is all new for this year. This is the Blade 16. So this complements your line of like the, the other sizes, the, 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 uh, the 15 and the 17, but these are, these are both new additions, but we'll get to that one. Yeah, yeah, brand, brand new for us. Um, so very excited about it. Actually, the uh, 16 is basically a 16 in a 15 inch body. Uh, these 15 previously probably come out to about here. So you're really just getting a little bit more in the depth. Is this the, what aspect ratio is the screen? Uh, 16 by 10, so brand new for us. We know right. everyone's been really excited for 16 by 10 from us. And we've got them both on 16 and 18. I've seen that trend and sometimes it's hard to tell because uh, some laptops have a little bit more bezel, some are a little bit less and throwing throwing my eyes off a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I, I definitely saw that this is, I like 16 by 10, let me, let me just say that. Yeah, same right. here, I'm very excited, especially on the 18. Okay, do you, shall we move over to the 18 then? Uh, sure, yeah, yeah. Um, so Blade 18, again, first for us, we've had 17s before, we've had 15s of course, but uh, now we've got this gorgeous beast right here. Um, uh, same thing here, so we got you know N NVIDIA GPUs from 4060 all the way to 4090, uh, max TGP on every config. Um, it's got Including the Core i9 uh, 13980 HX. That's correct, yeah. So at our top tier SKU, we're gonna have a 13980 HX. Uh, we'll have 64 gigabytes of RAM, two terabyte storage, uh, all of course wrapped in you know the Razer CNC uh, aluminum chassis. Uh, it looks like gamers have to make a kind of a, a tough choice, or I have to make a tough choice, because I like the larger format laptop, um, but uh, is the, is, first of all, is the mini LED exclusive to the 16 just for now? It is, it is. Okay. So this is so uh, going to be a tough call because, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think this is, uh, the, I've seen this for HX uh, processors. It's a lot of computing power. It's, it's 18 inches um, a screen, but the thickness or the thinness is pretty impressive. Yeah, it's a 21.9 millimeter six for both the 16 and 18. Uh, it's a little bit extra, extra height than most people may be used to from a Razer Blade, but that really lets us pack in the most amount of performance, uh, the proper cooling uh, with our vapor chamber technology to get all that performance, uh, you know, properly cooled, so you have you know a long lasting performance, you know, and no thermal throttling. Um, with it being bigger, would that give you more freedom to work with thermals, better thermals, as you said, you know, to to limit that throttling on the 18 versus the 16? Yeah, absolutely. So we've always used vapor chambers throughout, you know, the razor blade history, and so going a little thicker just lets us get a bigger, better vapor chamber in there for you know better cooling. Great. Um, any other? you know, call out features that you want to mention? Yeah, so being a desktop replacement, uh, we really wanted to make sure this had desktop features. So we've got a, a five megapixel webcam in here. Uh, we've got six speakers powered by THX spatial audio. Um, both laptops fully upgradable as far as storage memory goes. So uh, DDR5 uh, on both. 
uh, up to 64 gigabytes if you so choose. And then you can also upgrade the storage up to eight terabytes on the uh, Blade 18, thanks to it supporting dual-sided SSDs, uh, and up to four terabytes on the Blade yeah, 16. If you don't mind, I'm going to pick this up just yeah, to please, say, give, give a, a sense of the, the weight and, yeah, uh, and scale. Yeah, it's uh, 5.4 pounds. Yeah, so just a little under five and a half. This is definitely your choice for uh, you know the most performance in a portable laptop. Right. Um, for for the mini LED screen, did, can you imagine? Is this something that is exclusively designed more for gaming, or do you think creators would find something? Uh, in fact, <laughs> creating creator mode, gamer mode. Is there something specific that you've tuned for one or the other? Uh, it's just the 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 refresh rate and the resolution. Uh, we definitely think creators would, uh, you know favor the UHD, but if you know they so choose, they're not working, they want to play some games, they want to get good FPS, they can switch down to that full HD 240. Great. Uh, well, do you have a favorite? Like, Can you pick between the two of them? Uh, I am a huge fan of big displays, both in my phone, wherever I can get it. So I am a fan of the Blade 18. This is the one I want to get my hands on um, and you know, be able to game and wherever I go. I like to play fighting games, and that takes a lot of local play, so we want the biggest display, you know, most amount of performance, and so I would go with Blade 18. Yeah, uh, well, this works out perfectly, so you can have that one. I'm going to take this one sure, if you don't mind. Sure, that sounds good. <laughs> All right, yeah. All right, well, Justin, thank you so much for talking tech. I appreciate it. Uh, it's been awesome, and I can't wait to see these. Actually, you know what? When are they coming out? Oh, so we're targeting Q1 as far as availability. Uh, the Blade 16 here, we're looking to start at $26.99 and uh, $28.99 on the 18. All right, finally let you go. Thanks for talking tech. Yep, thank you. Thank you.